We have entered an era of electrification, and manufacturers are launching their powerful engines with a boom. Bentley not left behind. The company is at the verge of launching its best ever vehicle, and you can't wait to see it. Join us in this video as we show you everything you need to know about the $2 million 2023 Bentley Batour, the most powerful Bentley ever made and the last of the gas-powered Bentleys. Elegant and opulent. The Batour, which will debut in 2025, is schwelt in aerodynamic and serves as a glimpse of what to anticipate from its next EVs. Though they both use the same platform, there aren't many more parallels between the Continental GT and the Batour. The Batour, which got its name from a lake in Indonesia, doesn't have any body panels in common with its alleged twin. Despite the obtrusive grille, the front end looks really damn stylish. The automobile has a highly upscale appearance thanks to the broad air dams, Bacalar-inspired headlamps in the style of the Bentley emblem, and the sculpted hood. The vehicle is equipped with 22-inch machined and polished wheels with a black crystal finish. Bentley will fulfill your request for an alternative service if necessary. Numerous aerodynamic upgrades are included, such as a front splitter, side skirts, and a rear diffuser. Both carbon fiber and the more recent sustainable natural fiber composite are available. There are many color options, including hand-painted designs, just as with any other Bentley or Mulliner product. In other words, the sky's the limit if you have the money, which, if you're purchasing an ultra-luxury item, I'm sure you have. The Continental Speed has undergone a comprehensive but surprisingly modest rebody with the Pateur. Even if the speed is fantastic, I suppose adding a little more power and handling agility wouldn't hurt. Thus, the W12 engine is tuned to produce 740 horsepower and 990 pound-feet of torque. The strongest Bentley ever. The 6-liter W12 engine that initially appeared in the first-generation Continental GT and has been around for 20 years powers the Batour. The Batour, however, is the most powerful Bentley ever, with 730 horsepower and 737 pound-feet of torque. The crew car maker was forced to replace its intake system, turbochargers, and intercoolers, as well as do major collaboration work. It is connected to an all-wheel drive system, an electronic limited slip differential, and an 8-speed dual-clutch gearbox. For the ultimate eargasm, the car maker has also included a sports exhaust. The finishers on the Acropophic exhaust system are 3D printed, while the exhaust system is made of titanium. There's no information on the 0 to 60 mile per hour time, however, given that the Continental GT, the vehicle with which it shares an engine, needs 3.5 seconds, the Batour could need just 0.5 seconds. Expect the Batour to handle as well as you can expect. This limited edition vehicle boasts a 48 volt anti-roll control system and an adjustable air suspension, both from Bentley. In only 0.3 seconds, this device is capable of exerting 959 pound-feet of anti-roll force. Torque vectoring and four-wheel steering are also included. Silicon carbon brakes with 10 piston calipers up front and four piston calipers at the back are in charge of stopping the vehicle. Bentley claims that the Batour's engine is the last repetition of their W12, the most productive 12-cylinder engine in history. In contrast to the speeds, it is not only a chip job. As part of a package that also includes a titanium exhaust system, new intercoolers, new turbocharger compressors, and increased oil cooling, there is new software, of course. A lengthy list of improvements for just 18 vehicles. If you're a particular client, they may adjust it to your speed, in my opinion. The 48V anti-roll system, four-wheel steering, and electronically controlled limited slip rear differential are all speed-derived features of the chassis. The Batour offers even more than speed, which is a genuinely great vehicle to drive. Deeply luxurious. As luxurious and gorgeous as the breathtaking appearance is the cabin. It is modeled after the cabin of the Bacalar, but has modern, eco-friendly luxury amenities. In essence, this two-seater has a luxurious skeleton that Bentley wants you to personalize. Don't get me wrong, it's far from basic, but there are enough modification possibilities for you to make it as distinctive and personal as you can, which is also what Bentley and Mulliner want you to do. Elements of jewelry such as the transmission knob and the vent controls were 3D printed in gold and with hallmarks. The diamond textured black and red radiator grille is echoed in the upholstery stitch pattern. To accommodate the baggage of epic grand journeys that this automobile conjures up in the mind's eye, the rear seat is exchanged for a platform. This might be seen as a first step toward a sustainable, electrified future. As was already noted, it could be the final time the W12 mill is used as a one-off. Bentley is also introducing us to environmentally friendly materials that may be used in the EVs that will begin to be produced in 2025. Low carbon leather, sustainable tannage leather, or dinamica, a substitute suede-like sustainable material for leather, are all options for the Batour's cabin. There are several bizarre items in this place, like 18 karat gold switches that were 3D printed, sound waves from the W12 mill that were carved on the veneer of the dash, and more. The Batour may go down in history as a significant vehicle, 
It is the final and most powerful W12 and the pinnacle of the Bentley gasoline era while facing backwards. It's the beginning of a redesign from the front. This makes it the opening statement in Bentley's response to a dilemma that all current luxury and supercar manufacturers confront. What happens to the design when it becomes required to produce electric automobiles after a history of making cars that are obviously designed around enormous engines? More than a century in this case. The brain behind it all. Last year, Andreas Mint became the new design director of Bentley. He made a quick start by taking the Batur from a blank screen to the revealed automobile in a year after deciding what he wanted to achieve there over the following several years. That is only conceivable because it will be produced in limited quantities, skipping some of the customary lengthy industrial procedures. It takes more than simply pushing the huge levers to develop a car. Even seemingly little adjustments might have a significant impact on the outcome. Mint has developed a feature that will distinguish future Bentley vehicles and has a significant impact on how you perceive the Batur. A trim bar, in this instance titanium-colored, starts on a hull-like chine on the leading edge of the bonnet and sweeps back over the windshield pillar and mirror before continuing to the rear of the vehicle. It has the effect of giving the car's front end an endless bonnet, as Mint describes it. It's a strong historical connection since previous Bentleys had to wrap up to 8 liters of straight 6 out front. The front motor of electric vehicles are so physically tiny and the cabins may be longer that the proportions are completely different. However, this new line uses trumple to give the impression that there is more in front than there really is. According to Mint, the majority of EV faces are generic, but the Batur's front graphic may help an EV stand out from the crowd. In contrast to the Continental, the grille is set lower and more uprightly. He calls this design self-confident. The Matrix seems to be free of the panels around it and floating in space. The grille on the Batur has a complex design that lets cool air in. In an EV, it may be textured but would likely be largely blanked out. The headlights are two main units, similar to the Bacalar, as opposed to Bentley's previous quartet. They don't have the same internal patterning as Bentley's most recent crystal tumbler designs. Instead, they have elaborate strings of LEDs for texture. According to Mint, luxury consumers are switching from traditional to contemporary tastes and want less ornamentation in chrome. In the future, light will perform the function of chrome. We discover recently slimmed light clusters in the rear. According to Mint, the black bottom panel of the tail helps the vehicle seem lighter and increases stress. The perceived mass of the body must be reduced since future Bentley cabins will feature relatively tiny vertical glass sections to limit solar heat input. It seems as if our supercharger were blowing into the body and forcing the panels outward despite the body's general simplification and minimal inflating of its surfaces. The closing line of the bonnet is also concealed by that titanium bar giving the front end a solid appearance. The Batur has a wider rear track for both aesthetic and traction reasons than the Continental speed it is built upon. Pricing and Availability Obviously a vehicle this distinctive won't be cheap. The price rate was roughly $1.59 million, hence Bentley has set the price per vehicle at £1.65 million. This is before taxes and choices, so if the owner is not frugal with the extras, it might cost him well over $2 million. There are just 18 Bentley Mulliner Batours available. And they have all been reserved. The Batour will be extensively customizable, as are most high-end vehicles now, and owners will be able to choose the color and finish of almost every component of the vehicle. Since the first deliveries are anticipated in mid-2023, it could take a while. Many manufacturers exaggerate the appearance of their coach-built vehicles, but you wouldn't know the Batour is the most powerful road-going Bentley ever if you weren't informed. Bentley is deceptive. It does not yell. It resembles a sleeping beast rather than an aggressive one. That notwithstanding, it still rules among cars of its nature.